today is a great day. We're gonna start putting the roof on. I feel like we've waited for this day all of my life. <laughs> And yes, this was the most intimidating. This was the most difficult part of the house yeah. thus far. <laughs> I was telling you that I don't want a roof that falls in my head. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time tuning in, remember to hit that subscribe button. We're currently working on building a tiny home out of Cobb. We started this project last year and we've documented the whole build. You can find the rest of the episodes of this build in our Cobb Home playlist. Enjoy! I came up with this great idea this morning to put rocks all the way along both sides of the door. Uh, some of the space below, as you saw, we already had put cob, but it's still wet from yesterday. So we're carving little holes in the wall and adding rocks. <laughs> it's gonna save a lot of time and I think it'll look really nice. I know we made Is that Fernando? No. <laughs> Nauda's patience definitely has paid off. She was working on one wall next to the door. She put the rocks on and let the cob dry before putting more rocks on. I put rocks on top of rocks on top of rocks without waiting for the cob to dry. Now the wall's falling apart and I'm gonna have to start over tomorrow. <laughs> We decided to make a recip- I, more than anything, decided to make yeah. a reciprocating roof, which is really cool. It's all of these logs that are on top of each other that are all balancing on the wall, so there aren't any pillars, aren't any frames holding it up. It's just on the wall, and it turns into this really cool circle with a hole in the middle. The thing is, I saw a picture and I was like, yes, I want to do that, and then I had to figure out how are we going to do that. And it was super intimidating. Laura and I went back and forth about whether or not it was feasible. Yeah, we have some fight. <laughs> we have some arguments about the yes. about the roof because making the roof is a very like a great challenge. I feel this is like when I'm afraid of doing something, my mind is like, no, you cannot do that. You cannot do things when you don't have the experience. But how you get the experience if you don't try, right? I really love these ones because it seems like ocean waves. I wasn't sure if it was going to work out, but I wanted a chance to at least try. We can try it, and if it doesn't work, okay, we find someone else to help us, we pay someone else to do it, whatever happens, like it's fine, but I at least wanted to try, partially because I hate asking for help, and partially because I wanted to see, like how is it going to play out? We've surprised ourselves with how the rest of the house has come together, how things have been working, so why not? try. And yes, this was the most intimidating. This was the most difficult part of the house yeah. thus far because you don't want the house to fall on your head. And yeah. Laura yeah. was really was, concerned that the logs are going to yeah. fall on it. Every day I was, I was telling you that I don't want a roof that fall in my head. And, and my response was, okay, you can stay out of the house until we're both confident that it will stay in place, that it will be strong enough to support whatever's on top of it. We've been waiting for this day for a long time. Uh, we're finally connecting the octagon. So this is the last point that will connect all the walls. There we go. Feels pretty good. A lot of repetitive work. Finally, the work is all paying off. We still have a little bit of height to add to the walls, but uh, we're getting close. Fear is a really important topic that I want to talk about because I know that fear limits you from what you really want to do in life. And sometimes someone else put that fear on you. Yeah. The same I was doing with you. Like I was putting my fear on you and it's not fair to do that because the other person can feel very confident and those moments when I have the most fear, those are the moments that really makes me like grow. grow. Those moments made a personal growth. 
my personal growth. <laughs> Those moments helps or improve my personal growth. Because being afraid is not a bad thing for me. It's a good thing. Sometimes you have to take the risk. I think one thing that I've learned in being in a relationship with Laura or just in general is letting her have her fear and also not letting it affect me. So we finally finished the walls. It feels really good. As you can see, there's some minor cracks that we'll have to fix, but the walls are ready to put the roof on. Yeah, I feel very proud that the result up until now, and we're very excited to show you. <laughs> we have a lot of arguments because you were telling me like that I didn't trust you, and I didn't uh, think that you are capable of doing the roof and I was afraid of making the roof so I was talking from my mental limitation yeah I think I think there are moments in life where fear exists and you can either choose to let the fear control your decisions or you can trust and surrender yeah. to whether it's other people that are helping with the process or just let life take control I was very scared but at the end I decided to do it So we did a little test run here on the ground to figure out how tall we need the stick in the middle. Uh, it's about two feet. Um, so we're gonna have to add two feet to the height of the wall and then that's how tall our stick will be in the middle. So when we knock it down, it should fit right into place evenly all around the, the house. Let's explain from the beginning. Yes, we did not have experience. This is all based on what some videos we watched on YouTube. I was practicing a few days and the logs kept falling on me, so it wasn't the best start. Luckily, Lauda was gone when this happened, so she didn't know how worried I was about whether or not this was going to work. Day two, we did one practice round on the, on the ground and then we put the logs on top of the roof. But it wasn't ready. No, it wasn't perfect because the logs would slide because the rope, either it wasn't tight enough or also we didn't have any tools. Yeah, we didn't have any tools. We didn't have the andamio. You're on a ladder, like Laura's we were... dad was holding a ladder and I was climbing up it when it was in the middle while I was trying to tie the logs together. It wasn't the best setup. My father was on the bed with a, this table. It was it crazy. Was... The other builders that are next to us, they were so scared. They told us like, yesterday we were super scared of you guys. <laughs> all right, so we came to a little problem. We put all... 16 pillars up, but uh, the issue is the Charlie here in the middle is in the middle of the hole that uh, is supposed to be closed. So that's an issue. Uh, the, the length of the pillars that I bought, um, I had four that were five meters and the rest were four meters. And four meters is not big enough. At least I kind of tried to cheat if you look at the angle and here at the last six, angle's not right and that's why it doesn't complete the circle. And so the last one I put up is not below the first one. So we're gonna have to take the last six off and try again, see if we can get a better angle and get the circle to complete. The day we started this, the roof, I wasn't comfortable starting. I wasn't ready to start. I still wanted to practice more, get some more tools, prepare, but we decided just to wing it and see what give happens. It a Let's just <laughs> give it a try. It wasn't the best idea. Day one was really difficult. At the end of that day, I saw the roof and I was like, it looks, it looks okay for me because I didn't have any idea how it's supposed to look like. Last night we finished really late and didn't really have any light or an idea of how to cover the walls so we left them exposed and of course it rained all night so we'll see how they held up. Um, I imagine that the walls at least on the top are going to be a bit weaker but um, 
yeah, hopefully we'll be able to finish the roof today. So at the end of day one, the thing is, I didn't know how we were actually going to keep all of the logs together because we didn't have any tools. We have no electricity here. So everything we've been doing is like a hammer, a shovel, a rake, like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so we borrowed a drill and we drilled some holes. No, we borrowed, we, well, we the, borrowed extension. the extension cord extension. and a drill so we could drill some holes and... That was day two, and it worked out much better. Yeah, in the andamio helps a lot too. Yeah. At yeah. the end, it was yeah, yeah. It was At a the good end day. of day two, I felt a lot better. Mm -hmm. It was just um, it was an experience. Yeah, it was a, a great experience. <laughs> so today is the third day making the roof, and I feel better. Like I feel more comfortable. I feel more secure with this roof. What do you think? Yeah, Laura wasn't feeling very safe the day before yesterday. Uh, but yesterday we were out, able to go out and get some tools, drill some holes in the roof, connect them together. Uh, so now they're much more secure, feeling a lot better. Uh, they've been in place for a couple days now. We have a lot of things to do, but I feel like uh, we have we have made a great progress. Yeah. <laughs> I feel very happy and secure with this roof. For me, my biggest takeaway from building this roof has been to accept other people's fears for themselves, but also not to let them push that fear onto me and stop me from doing what I know is right. Like, I was committed, I wanted to try this roof, and there were moments where I second-guessed it because I also don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try. Yeah. And I'm glad I stuck with that because it was a really good experience yeah. for me. Yeah, I'm glad too. And if you want to do something and you feel you are capable of doing that, yes, just go for it. And don't let anybody tell you that like, you cannot do that. You yeah. cannot do it. Yes. <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe if you like our channel.